I have a confession to make. I eat like a monk. And this is not a new thing. No, 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 no. I've been doing this for half a decade. So here's what eating like a monk means to me and why you should consider eating more like a monk as well. So let's just dive right into it. Eating like a monk does not mean eating in the morning only. It also does not mean learning to tolerate a lot of hunger as a lot of monks do. What eating like a monk means for me is seeing food more as food, as nourishment, instead of comfort or entertainment as 99.9% .9 of the people do. See, when it comes to food, there's a scope of the benefits that food entails. On one side of the scope, you have entertainment, you have comfort. On the other side of the scope, you have nourishment, you have food, you have fuel. I decided five years ago that I will double down on this side of the spectrum. And before those five years, I was the exact opposite. I was eating donuts for breakfast. I was drinking multiple energy drinks a day. And the changes that this decision has made is absolutely enormous. The first benefit, and this is quite obvious, is simplicity. I do not have to evaluate foods based on their tastes because my main criteria is, is this food nourishing my body? If yes, it gets put into it. If no, I will not buy it or I'll put it in the trash. And that simple criteria makes my life damn simple. I can just order or buy the same stuff in supermarkets over and over and over again. And I do the same stuff in restaurants. And this makes my life even more simple. I go to a Japanese restaurant every lunchtime here in Brazil. And every time I walk in, they ask me, mismo, which means same as usual. And I reply with, sim, por favor, which means yes, please. So talk about simplicity. But why is having a simple life important? Because the second thing, the huge benefit of this is focus. Tony Robbins once said that most people major in minor things. And this is certainly true from my experience. See, if my goal in life would be to be the person that knows the most tastiest meals in all the supermarkets or be the leading expert on food porn, then yes, I would, you know, I would double down on making sure that my food is especially tasty. But that's not my goal that I have with my life. In fact, that's far away from it. So in this life, you must focus on the essentials and disregard the rest. So let me explain. These are the hard benefits that I attribute mostly to me fueling my body properly and eating like a monk. Number one, in the last five years, I got in the best shape of my life. I traveled to over 15 countries. I read over 200 mainly nonfiction books. I worked as a manager of five fitness centers and I built a successful coaching business changing people's lives. So these are all the things that I actually value. And for me to get those things that I value, I needed to sacrifice. If you do not sacrifice for what you want, what you want becomes the sacrifice. There's a reason Steve Jobs was living in an almost unfurnished house or he was wearing turtlenecks all the time. Because for you to get to your goals or for you to get what you want, there's certain things that need to be dropped. And the bigger the goals are that you set for yourself, the more things you need to drop to achieve it. See, I like Oreos. I like vegan donuts. I like energy drinks. I think there's no one that does not like these things because they're engineered, so everyone likes them. But there are certain trade-offs that you need to make when you have goals. There are certain taxes that need to be paid. And there are certain things that need to be dropped. With the things that I have going on right now on a daily basis, I simply could not operate on that same level of performance if, if I was thinking two to three hours a day of what food I should put into my body, what is the most tastiest, or if I would spend two, three hours a day preparing the perfect meal, the most tastiest meal that I can put into my body. And I can certainly not operate on that same level of performance if I would fuel my body crap fuel. So by eating like a monk, I can burn a clean, consistent, blazing flame of performance running on jet fuel. I can get done in one hour what others get done in three. And the reason for that is that I eat like a monk. I keep things simple. I keep them not that varied. I keep them quite bland and I keep them super healthy. I see food as food, as nourishment and not as comfort or entertainment. I do focus on the essentials and I sacrifice the non-essentials. So while I do get less out of my life based on the things that I do not value, I get more out of my life based on the things that I do value. So lesson for you. For next week, make a quick challenge. Eat more like a monk. So start fueling your body properly. Start seeing food as food. 
as nourishment for your body, as the possibility to have jet fuel, to have increased performance, to have increased focus in your daily life. It will make a massive difference in the results that you get out of life and the happiness that you experience. So if you like this video, smash the like button. If you want to see more videos like this where I touch base on personal growth, fitness and veganism, then you should certainly subscribe to this channel. And if you want to get coached by me and help vegans or soon to be vegans get fit and healthy, you should click the link below in the description where you can schedule a free call with me. In this free call, we'll be touching base on your fitness, then I'll point you in the right direction and then later on, if it makes sense, we can talk all about you joining my private coaching program later on. So regardless if you decide to go for this coaching program that I offer, these 60 minutes that you will be spending together will be the best 60 minutes that you spend working on your health and fitness this year. So if this sounds good, click the link in the description to schedule a free call with me. So grab your spot in my calendar before someone else does. Talk to you soon or see you next time.